Let's say that you have a Tableau workbook and you'd like to localize that workbook. You want to make it available in multiple languages. So you create a master workbook like this. You've got some static text that you need to localize and you have some column names that you need to localize and you want to be able to know what the language is that the user is currently looking at so you create a parameter called selected language and you'd like that to be populated with the language for this specific workbook so you can do things like choosing your English description column versus your French description column. Well we have addressed this problem using a simple command line script. We call it the Tableau Localizer. So first we tell it that we want to localize some workbook content. We're going to tell it the path to that content. So we're going to go grab that from here. And because Macs are funny, they put in special slashes where we don't need them. And then we're also going to tell it that it can get the same uh, translation content from an Excel file. Now what does that Excel file look like? It looks similar to a .NET resource file if you've ever seen those in that there's a key and then that key is mapped to a phrase for each locale or culture or language. So when we build the template workbook and template data sources we use these phrases and we wrap them with double curly brackets. We use the double curly brackets because that's a syntax that's not used anywhere in the workbook so we can do a safe search and replace on it. So once we set up this translation file and we've got our master workbook and data source we're then going to run it through the script and pass it basically the same thing we have here, except we want to give it the Excel file in this case. And then also we're going to give it an optional parameter to set. And we've called our parameter selected language. So then we're going to run this, and it is going to grab that file and apply our resource file to it once for each column, that is once for each language. And the outcome of this is a series of localized workbooks which you can then pick up and publish to server. Probably a little more interesting to look at the Dutch one than the English one since it started in English. <clears throat> we assume Tableau Desktop is currently starting, which I think it is. It was a heck of a video. Are all your videos this boring? Oh, here we go. We'll edit that part out. Or maybe we won't, just to give you a little bit of a laugh. Awesome. So now our text has been localized. <clears throat> our parameter has been set. So we can do things like, say, case selected parameter when NL NL, then use the Dutch description. And we can see that our column name, company name, has been changed to Bedrijfsnaam. So using this simple utility, you can localize your workbooks into as many languages as you need to and theoretically could just main, maintain one central translation file that you use with all of your workbooks and data sources. Brought to you by BizStory.